Well, what's the first step with Ninja? Is uh, obviously to to download it, right? So uh, we're talking about Ninja Seven right now, and this whole course we will be talking about Ninja Seven. Ninja Eight is different. So first, you gotta go. I mean, I I, I have to show this and uh, go ahead and skip this part if uh, if you don't uh, don't don't want to get these details, but. They can be confusing and I have to go through them because, I mean, they were confusing for me. So you just give your email address and um, once you download Ninja, it will start up and uh, we'll ask you to to give, um, give account information, right? So basically, there is uh, the difference between paid Ninja and free Ninja is that with the free Ninja, you can actually... Uh, trade live no problem so you can open an account with uh, with any uh, broker that ninja provides but you won't be able to uh, automate your strategies right so you'll be all, all, only able to trade manually right but you can do the back testing though okay so you can actually do this course no problem do automate your strategies and run them in simulation mode right so when you open up ninja right it's got a few windows so what you, what the one you're interested in I mean you can bypass or skip everything it asks you to to do in the beginning when you first open it up like it would ask you account information so once you skip that the, win, the, the like the default window that has to be open in order for ninja to be active is this actual control center so if I go ahead and close this it will actually ask me if I want to save the workspace because this will actually close the whole uh, the whole ninja right so what you want to do is uh, for this course is actually you want to uh, account connections and you want to add the connection and right here so basically we're gonna go ahead today and in this course we're gonna work with futures most of the time so once you download ninja you're gonna get a link where it's gonna ask you to for for data where you're gonna get data from but uh, you can actually go ahead and just follow this link here for and uh, basically you input your first name last name phone the email and uh, country and choose future futures of Forex well I go for futures and uh, you can do it many times with different email address I didn't say that but uh, you will run out of free data uh, trial at some point I think it's two or three weeks and then you can just go ahead and uh, do this thing one more time so this thing will send you after go make sure like when you do this go through every single step until it asks you to even download ninja just like click download do everything that it thinks that you actually did the whole thing and then it sends you the link in like two seconds and in the link you'll have the, the username and the password that you will actually go ahead and tools account connections and add here so if you go for futures with the ninja trader continue connection name give it a name and input username and password and that's it and it will appear right here and after that you go to file connect and you just connect to your to your account there right so that's for simulated data and uh, also market replay data okay so <clears throat> just to say a few words right ninja can be run in three modes well actually two modes uh, well yeah three modes simulation replay and well live trading well I mean live trading doesn't really differ from simulation um, it's the same 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 stuff it's just that you're gonna select the account which is gonna be live not simulator right so this is your main control control center right here and uh, so what you gotta know about it about this this control center well we we've been through the connection setup and uh, so next thing uh, that's that's about that's about it for for right now for this video to keep it short and in the next video we'll just go through more stuff about environment setup